All right, so just more using these press molds, you know, the more time you spend kind of playing with them, you learn how to make them or use them better, right? How to, how to make better things come out of them. So this little car, I figured I only need that much clay. And look, whoops, I can push it in there. And I can create that little border that I want you to make, right? I want you to make that little border again so that it can kind of hang anywhere at any orientation, right? Because we're this is supposed to be about movement. And if you think about it, if you move the same object through space, right? In other words, put it in different locations, it's it's gonna that's why you know orienting something in a different space is it evokes the idea or the element of time. Um so the more, especially if things are very little, right? The hand demonstration I already showed you, I only had three hands. When we're working with something as small as the car, you know, you probably want some more of them. Um, now I've got like five of them, so I can, you know, hang these on things and make them look like they're moving, right? Or if I make them go down, it looks like they're falling, right? Because they have a front and a back. If I make them go up, it looks like, they're going up, they're climbing, right? So these are all ideas of movement or time where I could make them look like they're they're crashing or, or whatever. But um, just another little illustration of how we can use these things um, to talk about movement and thus ultimately, ultimately time as well, all right?